Right now, millions are traveling for the Christmas holiday. This despite warnings from health officials to stay home. Experts say today was one of the busiest travel days of the holiday season, and that season has not been without its risks. In fact, just last week, a man with COVID-19 died from the virus during a flight from Orlando to Los Angeles, potentially exposing everyone on board. All new tonight, Lana Harris spoke to people at Charlotte Douglas International about how they are trying to stay safe. Good evening. Yes, the people we've talked to here at the airport say that they have heard of the incident and that it is tragic, but it's also scary. They say that they know that the guidance is to not fly and to stay home for Christmas, that they do hope that people who are here to fly out somewhere does their part so that everybody can make it to their destination safely. Had each and every one of us tested, so we're good to go and traveling safe as from our standpoint. And traveling safe is important for Kala Early because she's flying with her son. Say hi. 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 She says it's a little nerve wracking. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Traveling with a little one, the best thing that I can do to protect him is make sure that I keep myself safe. I sanitize everything. And then just asking those who are around me to also respect that I am traveling with the little one. The little one is why she says she hopes anyone displaying COVID symptoms will not board a plane, especially after hearing a passenger on a United flight from Orlando to Los Angeles died of COVID-19 while on the plane last week, potentially exposing those on board. I think it's pretty crazy. Charles Dunn says the incident was tragic, but the airlines can only do so much to prevent it. People can still get on a flight even if they had it even if they knew or if they didn't know that they had it. It's why Rose Johnson says people should get tested and quarantined before their flight to prevent spread. You know, haven't we seen enough? It, it, when is enough enough? Johnson says she does believe the people she's seen at Charlotte Douglas are doing what they can. Disinfectants everywhere and, and everybody everybody's very careful about distance and masking. But the travelers hope everyone realizes when it comes to feeling sick, it's better safe than sorry. Even though people right now want to see their families the same way that I want to see my family right now, it's probably the best to stay home. Now, as we've been looking around the airport, people have been doing their best to keep away from each other. But if you are headed to the airport, Saturday and Sunday are also going to be very busy and you will want to pack that hand sanitizer and of course your mask and social distance. Here at Charlotte Douglas, I'm Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte.